All right, well, a week of turmoil at Texas A&M ends with the abrupt resignation of the university's president, Catherine Banks. A fact-finding committee was created to look into the mishandling of a hiring meant to revive the journalism program. Well, initially, the school celebrated the hiring of Kathleen McElroy with a public signing ceremony, but she ended up turning down that position when negotiations went from a 10-year track offer to a five-year contract, then to a one year position in which she could be fired at any time. Well, the less attractive offers reportedly came after the state passed a law banning diversity, equity and inclusion offices. In a letter sent to a and system chancellor John Sharp last night, Banks wrote, quote, I must retire immediately. The negative press is a distraction from the wonderful work being done here. Here is what she said about it earlier this week. I will say it has been a difficult week for Texas A&M. I'm saddened by, um, by the negative attention that we receive. It's been detrimental to our shared goals and vision. So in a statement, the journalism professor's attorney tells us, quote, the way McElroy was treated at Texas A&M is not consistent of a top flight university. Accountability is expected when a scholar like her is treated in such a way. Well, Mark Welsh, dean of the Bush School of Government and Public Service, will serve as acting president until the Board of Regents names an interim president. As for the journalism professor, McElroy, she has chosen to keep her position at the University of Texas. Austin, where she is a tenured professor.